Welcome to Bread from the Potter. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on December the 18th, 2017. The title of the message is The Walking Dead. And the Lord Jesus began, Children, why are you surprised by what you hear on the news? Is it really a shock that the politicians and power brokers in the United States of America are so corrupt? This is nothing new or something to be shocked by. There is so much filth among your political and religious leaders that you haven't the faintest idea about. Children, do not place your trust in man. Man is carnal and he desires to live in sin. Put all your trust in me and do not idolize any man. The atrocities committed by both political and religious leaders will be fully revealed during the Great Tribulation period. For then, they will openly practice their abominations without fear of being voted out of office. Children, evil will increase tremendously upon the land that it will be tangible. You will not only see it with your eyes, but you will feel it, smell it, and choke in it. There is coming a time when the hidden atrocities will be carried out in the public squares, and there will be no justice for the innocent and the righteous. So far, the abominations of your leaders have been well hidden, but soon all will be exposed, and the very worst part of it is that their abominable acts will not only be acceptable to the public, but they will be emulated by those who have sold themselves to pursue evil. Oh, my dearly beloved ones, you haven't the faintest idea how dark this earth will get. This is why the earth will react so violently to the rapid spread of evil. The earth will rock back and forth and spew out tons of lava in an attempt to not only cleanse itself, but to rid itself of the abominations that will be walking and living among you. Nothing will be hidden anymore except the real source. The earth will rock back and forth and spew out tons of lava in an attempt to not only cleanse itself, but to rid itself of the abominations that will be walking and living among you. Nothing will be hidden anymore, except the real source, meaning and function of the mark of the beast. Everything else, every form of evil, will become acceptable, for the marked ones will become demonized and will accept all forms of abominations. Do not be deceived. Such individuals exist on the earth already. There are those in places of high power who have willingly received the mark of the beast into themselves. They think that they are the enlightened ones who have the right to rule over other men. They have already sold their souls and there is no more remedy for them. They already cannot come to the saving knowledge of my grace. They cannot confess my name unto salvation. They are alive upon the earth, enjoying great wealth and evil power, but they are dead on the inside. They are the true walking dead, zombies a body that is merely a shell, occupied by an evil spirit. Their souls are already dead, offered on Satan's altar, and lost to me forever. Children, there is an insidious darkness on this earth that would literally give you a heart attack if you saw it. I am Jesus, God Most High. I am against evil, and I will protect my children from the spreading darkness. Therefore. Do not stray from my side. Remain in me now and always, for I am light, and where there is light, there is now no more darkness or shadow of turning. Do not be afraid. Fear is of Satan. Be strong and very courageous, and resist the devil, and submit yourselves to my spirit, for he is ready and willing to keep you clean unto the coming day of great joy for all my faithful children. I love you. I am with you. Darkness will not overtake my faithful bride. I love you now and always. Jesus. Amen. And that was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Be blessed, beloved.